Good morning, lovely Zoe2.c with a super duper, like ultra quick video on how to get the maximum Meltan candies during this double candy event. Now this uh, technique is going to be using a combination of transfers and catches and things like that. You will need your Pokemon Go account on the phone and a switch to transfer to. So keep in mind, it doesn't have to be your switch. You don't need to own a switch and let's go Pikachu to do this. You can transfer to a friend's account. So the technique we're gonna be using is pretty much mass transferring Meltans from the game Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go on the switch. So first of all, as a base, what you need to do is to just transfer any Pokemon to either your Switch or your friend's Switch account to get yourself a mystery box. The mystery box is gonna be the fastest way to spawn a whole ton of Meltan, catch all of those Meltan that spawn from the mystery box with a Pineapp. I mean, even if it wasn't a double candy event, you wanna be using a Pineapp anyway. But moving on to the next part of this. So what you could do just on your phone alone is sit down and transfer every single Meltan individually. This takes a lot of time because Meltan is a mythical. It's going to give you that prompt every single time. Are you sure you want to transfer this Pokemon? Yes, I want to transfer this Pokemon for every single one. And if you've used a couple of mystery boxes so far, you'll have quite a few Meltans already in your storage. The second thing you could do as well, even though it wouldn't be affected by the double candy, would be to do distance trades with Meltan. So trading your Meltan for a Pokemon that was caught far away, you would get three candy per trade. However, that's a little less efficient because you're using a lot of Stardust for the trade as it's a special trade. You can only do one per day because it is a special trade because it's a mythical. So the fastest way to kind of eliminate that and to still get a decent chunk of candy while this double candy is going is to transfer from go to let's go because you'll still be rewarded uh, and it considers the transfer as like as though you're transferring to the professor. It will still reward you with the double candy. So I tested this with just a, a Caterpie to make sure before doing this. But uh, let's just jump on in, I'll show you guys what you need to do. Okay guys, so first of all, if you guys need a little guide on how to set up and connect your phone to your Switch, I've got a whole video on that, so I'll chop it in the top corner right now or in the description box, I will have it as well. But essentially, you gotta make sure that your uh, Nintendo Switch is connected here in this option, right there. Once it's connected, you'll have this little Switch icon up the top here, which you can tap on, and it's like, hey, bro, are you ready to transfer some stuff to the game? Yes, I am. So I'm gonna look up my little Meltans here. I have IV checked all of these ones, nothing too crazy or special. So I'm happy to transfer them all away. The benefits of this as well is of course, you can play the mini game in Pokemon Let's Go with, uh, if you have 25 or more of a Pokemon, they will chase you around and follow you and it's really, really cute. I'm just gonna keep that last one there because I don't wanna confirm that, um, I'm pretty sure if you have anything favorited, it just doesn't appear in this menu. I'm fairly certain, but uh, I'm keeping my first ever Meltan safe just in case. So I'm gonna select, Send to Nintendo Switch 31 of them in one go. Boom. Yes, I agree. I'm going to be really, really good and make sure I don't lose internet connection. And then we're going to get to... Of course, you have to be up to Fuchsia City to have the Go Park on the Switch. I would like to bring some Pokemon. And let's just bring them into the bottom one here. Happy days. And yes, I'm ready to start some communication. So it's going to fetch these Meltan from... Yep. Zoe2.s account has been found. If it's, of course, your friend's account, it will say your friend's name and you are good to go. Oopa. Get a little bonus as well. And my mystery box yeah, is available. So the mystery box will be available every uh, seven days. So I actually have to go through and use one for myself currently uh, to get a few more candies and stuff. As you can see there, I'll zoom in on the replay, but the extra candy that we got for transferring 31 of these bad boys into Pokemon Let's Go. So save yourself some time and, you know, doing the whole, look at this. Transfer. Yes, of course. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Next, next, next. Transfer them all to a Let's Go game. Doesn't have to be yours. Can be your friends. All that good, good stuff. And it's way more efficient. So all in all, guys, if you do want maximum candy, yes, a distance trade will get you that extra one candy for a free candy distance trade. But there's just not going to be enough days in the double candy bonus event for this holiday event essentially. So maximize, save yourself some time and just do a sweet little transfer. If you are the uh, nominated Switch person or Switch haver in your community, I think I'm only one of a couple of people in my group who have got a Switch. I've been trying to give as many people as I can mystery boxes when I go to raids and things. Get your friends to have everything kind of prepared and organized so that you can kind of pump through this really quick. The bonus for you being you're going to have a whole ton of Meltan in Pokemon Let's Go, which is just kind of cute, to be honest. You can use them for the mini game, uh, and of course you can then, you know, trade them off if you want to, to other people in Let's Go. I hope this video has been informative for you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.